Well hello and welcome to program four in the series of tutorials and programs designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language. Uh, if you're not part of our email mailing list then please go to markplex.com and uh, subscribe to the list and I'll be pleased to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So program four is going to take some of the work uh, and concepts that are behind programs one, two and three and uh, apply them. And uh, the way that uh, uh, this program is going to work is as follows. What, we'd, what we do is we look for a change in direction of price as determined by a three line break. Now um, if you remember back in tutorial 23, if you've been following any of these tutorials, um, we created a an indicator which essentially drew a three line break or any number line break lines on a regular chart. Obviously TradeStation has a three line break chart, but we thought, well, maybe it'd be useful to be able to draw line, three line break chart uh, lines on a regular chart. And you can see here, what those boxes look like. You have to use your imagination a little bit because this is effectively one box even though it looks like it's been segmented. So what we do is when we change direction as indicated by one of these dots we take the price level, in this case this price level, and we compare it to an array of all the previous price levels that we found. If it is within a certain price tolerance of one of the price levels that we've already found using this method, then the two lines are combined and we increase a variable called the thickness. If it is not within tolerance, then we add a new line to the array. And of course, because the array is of a certain fixed size, we then have to delete the oldest uh, element from that array. So let's just uh, turn off the three line break indicator and uh, I'm also just going to turn off the chart analysis toolbar so we can see this a little, a little more clearly. So here you can see an example and the idea behind this is maybe those levels as determined by the three line break uh, program r represent uh, specific levels of support and resistance. Um, that's for you to decide. But let me just explain the inputs to this program and just go through them. Firstly, num bars break. Um, this is, for example, if it was a three line break chart, it would be three. If it's a four line break chart, it would be four. If you're not familiar with the, uh, the line break chart concept, then uh, I do suggest go and have a look at tutorial 23, which covers this in some depth. Okay, the next inputs down color. This is the uh, the color of the show me dot at uh, the start of a downward uh, three line break uh, bar or lines, I should say. Up cull that is the uh, the color at the start of uh, three line break lines in an upward direction. Line color. This is the horizontal line that you can see on the chart. Incidentally, this RGB two five five one four six four. This is the uh, Markplex orange color. Disp perk. This is an input which determines the percentage away from price that the show me dot is plotted, just so that you can move it a little bit away from the price, so you can see it more clearly. Number of pivots. This is the total number of pivots that we're going to look at in the array and uh, combined value. Now this is the uh, the value I just mentioned a moment ago that determines the tolerance as to how close a line has to be to another line before it's combined. And if it's outside that tolerance, then as I say, we uh, we start a new line. Line sensitivity. This determines, as I mentioned, each line has a variable called thickness and that thickness is incremented every time a new line is combined. The line sensitivity determines which lines are extended to the right of the chart. So for example if the line sensitivity were 10 then only lines with a thickness of 10 or above would be extended to the right of the chart. Now change thickness in 
uh, programs one and two, we varied the thickness of these lines depending on the thickness variable. And uh, we, we did this up to a thickness of four, but uh, obviously the lines could be considerably thicker than that. If this is set to true, the line thickness will vary depending on the, uh, the variable that we're calling thickness. Uh, if it's false, however, let me just change it to false. Then what you'll find is that instead of increasing the thickness of the lines, we just have a standard thickness. But um, if we go to the end of the chart here, you'll see that we've annotated this with the thickness variable. In fact, this, this value is plotted anyway. Um, but we just don't see a, th a thickening of the line. It just makes it maybe slightly easier for you to uh, to see what's going on without price action being obscured by lines. And then finally, we've got uh, the today's pivots on. And if this is set to true, then today's pivots are plotted on the chart. Remember, though, that some of those pivots are going to be combined with others. So you won't see maybe as many as uh, as you think you would. So this gives you an idea of if you uh, if you do buy this program, then um, I often get folk who bought the bought programs will say, "Well, my lines aren't appearing like yours." Well, these these settings are very sensitive, and you really need to play around with, particularly number of pivots, combined value, and line sensitivity. And I suggest keep the line sensitivity low to start with, and look for what is a reasonable combined value based on on the chart. So for a, a, a pound US dollar where the prices are 1.61, etc., then that's going to be a fairly low value. If it's Google, IBM, then it might be a, a higher value. Um, the other thing that you really need to watch for when you're playing with this program is just go to the symbol and make sure that you've got a certain number of days. In this case, I've got 50 days back, but you need to play with that as well. In, in other words, the more days back you've got, the more potential turning points as uh, discovered by the uh, the three line break functionality you're going to see. So anyway, uh, I hope uh, you might find this program useful. And um, again, if you're not part of the Markplex list, then please do do join. And uh, thank you very much for your attention.